host Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and today I'm going to show you the 10 favorite things that sold on Etsy in the month of February. So I have them on screen and we're going to go to that right now. All right, the first thing up is actually this really cool atomic styled light shade. This would go on the ceiling and you would already have the fixture there. This is just the glass portion of it and this actually sold for $75. And I only paid about $3 for this at a kind of a resale shop. Uh, the shipping on that was $8.20. So I made about $64 on this one light. Uh, now, I will say there's also some fees involved with selling on Etsy. And I didn't go through this time around and figure out what those all were. But it's basically 5% of the selling price. So it would be 5% of $75. Uh, so it's not a whole lot. Just take that out of the last number I give you. So in this case, $64. Uh, well, you would do it before that. So anyways, it's 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 less than $64. Let's call it 60 bucks. But really cool, and that's a great return for that really neat light. Next thing up is actually another light. Now this one sold for even more money because it is actually the whole light unit itself and not just a glass shade. This here sold for $149, which was amazing that it did. And I only had it listed for maybe a month and a half. So I was so pleased with that. I think I paid about five to $10 for this. I don't remember, but knowing me, I couldn't have spent more than $10. And so after you consider all of that, uh, it comes to $130, $130. The shipping was only $9.40. So <laughs> that was great. And yeah, $130 minus a little bit. So 5%. Let's just take off another $10 just to be safe. So $120, very nice uh, on that. And the reason the shipping was so low is because the box size itself did not have to be huge. It did not have to be large. I'll flip through these real quick. Um, you can see it's just a really nice light unit, but it's more, it's, it's, it's very wide. I think it's about 15 inches wide, but it doesn't have to be that thick of a box. So, you know, uh, it was able to, I think, to go priority mail cubic. So that's the reason it was able to go for nine and some change. Very cool. Next up is actually another light. So interestingly, uh, this one here, I picked up for about, I think $3, two to $3. And it sold for $55 with free shipping. And I, I guess I forgot to mention this, but all the prices, the selling prices include shipping. I do it that way on my shop. So $55 with free shipping. So the, the light itself was $3, and then the shipping was kind of high because I believe it went to California. So that was $15 and some change. So at the end of the day, uh, I made a little over 30 bucks on the light, which is really good, I think. And yeah, it was just a really easy sale. It did not set for very long, I will say. So I'm glad that I grabbed it, it's really cool. Next thing up are some plates. And I am pretty particular with plates. I don't just grab any plate. Uh, I really make sure that it's going to have a good chance of selling. Now, these plates were actually free, if my memory is correct. So, and if they were not free, they were 50 cents a piece. So, not a big deal. They sold for $78 with free shipping. And the shipping, of course, is going to be higher because these are heavy plates. So the shipping was $21 dollars 31 cents with free shipping and that means if they were free i netted about well a little over 50 bucks so if they weren't free then like i don't know 45 or 48 dollars so still a really good turnaround for some plates now these are uh they say temperama temperama dinner plates retro cannonberg pottery they're just really cool very atomic styled plates awesome Next thing up, this was almost free, it, or if you want to say free, you can. It was a dollar when, and I got a whole bunch of other things and I probably already sold something else in that same bundle of things for a dollar. So uh, this here is a, what does it say? Seagrass purse and it sold for $45. So I put a dollar cost of goods down and the shipping on that was $9.26, which was pretty good for what it is. And so I netted about a little over 30 bucks. So that's great. And um, you know, it's, it's on the list because I don't really come across stuff like this. So it was a pretty new thing for me to sell. And um, yeah, it's, it was good all the way around. 
This here, I actually bought the same day that I bought that desk lamp, the gooseneck desk lamp that sold for $55. I bought this at that same little shop and I think I paid two or three dollars for this clock. It sold for $34 and the shipping on that was $7.61. Uh, so really, I mean, I made a little over 20 bucks on this one clock. I think that's pretty darn good. And it's just a really cool retro clock. And uh, it sold rather quickly, once again. So very cool. It's made in Brazil, as you can see. This here, we had to have a figurine on the list because you know how I am with figurines. This one, I believe, came in a, a like a flat of other things. So I don't know how much I paid for this one figurine. It was probably close to, if you want to think of it this way and divide it out, let's okay. just say $2. So I paid like $2 for this figurine. It sold for $30. And then the shipping went first class at $3.20. So I made, again, a little bit over $20, $23 with fees and everything. So very cool. And uh, yeah, and it sold pretty quickly. This is actually a miniature version of these angels that I do find. Usually they are about this tall, about four inches tall. This one is smaller at three inches, it says. So that's really cool. And uh, it sold, again, really quickly after I listed it. These here I've had for a while. Uh, not a ton, like maybe six to eight months. I don't know, time flies, so it could be a little bit longer. But I've had them for a while. And it's a pair of Johnson Brothers mugs. And I think I paid close to 50 cents or... Mm, couldn't have been too much more than that. It, the tops would have been a dollar a piece. So uh, they are Johnson Brothers Heritage Hall mugs, it says. And I decided to sell the pair of them, even though that you, maybe you could sell them singly. I just figured that I would have a better chance selling them as a set. Whether or not that's true, I don't know, because they did take a while to sell. But it doesn't matter. They sold for $25 for the pair. And like I said, I may, let's just say, call it $2 cost of goods. That's the high end of things. And so, oh, the shipping was $9.26. We only have a couple more things to go. So the next item up is actually just a really funny little planter. And it, it, it you know, it's not a lot of money that I made on it, but it's still just cool. So um, it's very neat. I think I paid about, I don't know, one or $2 for this. I got it in a bundle of other planters at an auction. So it sold for $30 with free shipping. Uh, let's say the cost of goods about two bucks and the shipping on that was $9 and 70 cents. And that means I netted about $20. So that's still pretty good for a planter. I will say planters in general are not the easiest thing to sell, but if you find a really unique one like this one, it's not so bad. Okay, last thing on the list, just to switch it up, we have a vintage tablecloth, really awesome and I don't, find them and, and buy, I don't buy and sell them enough because they do sell, it's just that whenever I go to these auctions or sales, um, it's really one of those things where there's already people pouncing on it and at an auction, for instance, it's kind of hard to get in and buy them because they do go for good money at auctions, usually. So this one here is a really retro 1950s black and pink uh, sort of country themed, early American themed rather. Uh, it's just really cool. It's made for like a card table. It sold for $30 with free shipping. And I'm going to estimate that I paid about $3 for it because usually whenever you buy something like this, it comes in a stack of others. So about $3. And the shipping on that was $6.95. Uh, the, that, that the way that I shipped it is a priority mail flat rate bubble mailer. And with the website that I use to ship, at, ship them, they are $6.95. Now they did just raise them to probably $7.10, but I don't remember. But doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyways, I made about 20 bucks on this one tablecloth, which is very good. So all in all, I had a great sales month in the month of February. We are still, uh, you know, coming out of that slower January, but I still did good in January, if my memory's correct. Oh, I can't remember that. Whoa, that's weird. But um, January was good, February is good, and we're gonna just keep on going, and it'll be great, great, great. But, um, Anyways, that is all for today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.